okay, so this is our traditional uh, DevConf N plus two in your city. Uh, as always, uh, I have to remind to everybody, we're now going to see four bits, four uh, uh, great teams of people that are willing to put a lot of work into hosting DevConf. Uh, this is still just a first step, a first uh, uh, presentation to make all of us want to go to their, uh, to, uh, to their countries. Uh, it is not a, a formal commitment of anything, but yeah, it's, uh, it's important for us to be aware of, uh, of the proposals and to, uh, well, to enjoy, uh, to, to, be, to prepare ourselves to enjoy being with them. So, uh, DEPCONF 20 in your city. We know next year we're going to, uh, to, uh, to Brazil, to Curitiba, uh, but we have four candidates this time. So I think I have them here. Yeah. <laughs> we have Israel, India, Bratislava, uh, and Portugal. Well, Bratislava is not a country, uh, it's in Slovakia. So let's fix it. Okay. And uh, to determine the order of the presentation, uh, we will just shuffle them. Okay, so first to go, to go is India. I was requested to just reconfigure my display, X-Render, output, LVDS1, left off, uh, display port one. Sorry? No, auto should put them on the same place as, as I have it now. Yeah, and, and they don't match, so anyway. Uh, wait, because... Oh, it's HDMI. Okay. Hey! Okay. LibreOffice, so it was called DC20, DevConf India, blah, ODP. Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I am Raju uh, from Devon, India, and uh, we are presenting the bid for the second DevConf in Asia. Uh, we have been talking about the ha hosting the first DevConf in Asia for like 2015 or 16. Uh, of course, clearly, we have missed the boat. Uh, but we don't want to miss the second chance. We want to make the second EPCONF happen in Asia, in India. So here's the bid. First question, why a EPCONF in India? So uh, we actually have a lot of different kind of motivations to have uh, a DEPCONF in India, but uh, some of the motivations of the DEP in, uh, India people or the members is uh, our, one of uh, our famous mentor or DD from India, you might as well know him. Uh, he is Praveen, uh, also, also known as Pirate Praveen. He is a long time Debian developer. Uh, just to give a brief intro, he has like, he maintains over 700 packages in Debian main right now. And uh, maybe sponsor or upload has like over 500 and he has like over 100 pending in the FTP queue to be uploaded. So he does uh, enormous amounts of contributions. And uh, he has been mentoring a lot of us people, a lot of us who have become DDs and DMs uh, are being mentored by him, or, or ha has been mentored by him. But Praveen has not been to any DEPCONs, never. So we, some of us, decided that if Praveen has not been to any DEPCONs, Let's bring DEPCONF to Praveen. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our chance. So it's, it's up to you guys, it's up to us to make it happen in India, and let's make DEPCONF in India happen. OK. So when you guys would come to India, or when DDs and DMs have come to India, how they are treated in India? So just for a showcase how, how they, they have 
been treated in India. <laughs> here's a famous, like, uh, here's a happy moment of Jonas and Siri uh, somewhere in the fields in India. Uh, we, so a, a lot, of, lot of DDs come to India around the year, uh, DDs, GMs, uh, DPLs come to India and we host them, we try to host them sometimes. And uh, we take them around places, we host them in whichever city they choose to go to. India is diverse, a lot of cities are there. Uh, sometimes we organize mini depcons in India because the DDs are there. So let's have a mini depcon there. This is mini depcon of 2015 in Mumbai. We had it because Jonas was and Siri were there. And in the picture you can see three DDs. Uh, there is Karthik, Praveen and Jonas. Of course, we are famous for our food, so we host all our DDs with delicious meals. Let's take a look at the diverse uh, free software communities in India. Uh, if you would go to this URL, you will find a map of all the, uh, all the Linux user groups uh, in India. The list is not complete, but still has a lot of Linux users listed. Uh, it looks some t uh, something like this. Uh, you could see that uh, there are multiple, uh, there are various groups around north, there are like two in north, there are a few in the, in the east, and you could see a lot of density in the south. And that is where most of the DDs and DMs belong, but uh, uh, we, in, in terms of activeness, the north is not far behind as well. Okay, so uh, we have not narrowed down on exact venues yet, but we, uh, considering the vast geography, we have narrowed down on particular regions or cities where we could host stepcons in India. So uh, I have circled the, the regions where we can have it. You could see that we have uh, uh, circles where we can have, you could see a cross in there. Uh, the cross is actually on Goa. Uh, some people want uh, DevConf to happen in Goa, and uh, some, uh, a few people have told me while preparing my bed that if you have it at touristy locations, people won't be at the venue and would be roaming around the beaches all the time. <laughs> but it's up to you. If you want DevConf to happen in India, let us know, request that, and we will make it happen in Goa. Uh, otherwise, we could make it happen in the hills in the north or at the, at the coastline in the south. Up to you guys. But there are a lot of diverse options. Uh, about the public transport in India, uh, a few people raised concerns that if we have at different locations, would, would we be able to reach from international flights? Uh, we can reach from international flights. There are actually a lot, lot of international airports. You could see that uh, all the greens and blues uh, and the oranges are the international airports. In, even in the south, you have a lot of international airports to reach to. So it, it's not a problem to reach anywhere in India if, from international flights or domestic flights. Also, uh, particular modes of transport depends on where you are in India. Uh, in but different cities, different kind of transport is available. Uh, and of course, we have uh, the auto rickshaws or tuk-tuks that some people call, uh, which is only found mostly in Asian countries. Uh, it's there in most cities as well. And we have metros at a lot of cities other, as well. Food, one of the most important things, deciding factors. Uh, we are famous for our food. Doesn't matter if you're a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian, we will have uh, diverse options for you. Uh, the vegetarians would have, like, even if they try a new dish for each day, they wouldn't be able to finish or, or uh, experience all the dishes in India. Uh, it's the, the, the variety is such, so diverse. On the left side, you could see a lot of vegetarian dishes. On the right side, the non-vegetarians have a lot of options as well. So you, you could see uh, meals from the south and the north, uh, different kinds. And uh, on the right side, you could see fishes, fishes prepared in uh, banana leaves, or, or, or the tandoori chicken, which is famous from India. So food is very diverse, and uh, it, everyone would enjoy it. Finally, uh, we have a few DDs famous in India, and this, this is uh, one of our DDs, Balashankar. And uh, we, sh we keep this sticker wherever we promote Debian in India. So people find it themselves. You would find it out if, if you get to India. 
So give your support for Great DevConf in India. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we will have the four presentations, and then uh, we will proceed with the, uh, with the questions. So wait a minute. Uh, multiple screens are evil. Uh, okay. Do you prefer to have the notes or to have it uh, uh, in the same screen? Okay. I don't have notes. Good. Good morning, everyone. I'm here to explain why you should go to Lisbon for 2020. Is in Europe. We didn't have been in Europe for many time, so it's a good time to go there again. The venue is good. We have sunny and pleasant days. We have tasty food, plenty of opportunities for social events, and you need to stimulate the open software community in Portugal. Where it is? It is hot. There is an expression in Portugal that is a better mar plantado by the sea. It's in Eastern Europe, in a beer in Peninsula, near, near Spain. This is the venue, the scenic, scenic view of the venue. The venue is on the top of the hill, and uh, everything will be inside of it. Best engineering school of Portugal, with 100 years of history. A great, uh, great hall with uh, 300 cities, plus two auditories with 100 seats. That will be the, where it can be the main talks. And several classrooms for a clubs and for the organization. So, the, for example, the organization can store their things. That's one of the problems this year. Food. We have several options for vegan and vegetarian. And you have, very, and you have traditional food from Portuguese. So we have something like cozida portuguesa, carne porca alentejana, prego, the traditional meal for a snack, bacalhau com natas, a modern dish, and pastéis de nata, something very famous outside of Portugal. And some, some people remember from Cape Town because there, is a, there, there are a chain of Portuguese restaurants in Cape Town. You have very good expressos, that's our main way of drinking coffee, and it's called Bica in Lisbon. We will have several canteens inside the venue where you can choose where you will feed the, the community. And if you don't like the food, there are many, many restaurants near the venue. Chinese, Japanese, Italian, Brazilian, Indian, and vegetarian. The summer will be hot and dry. They are expected to be something like uh, 25, 30 degrees. That's the typical weather in summer in, in Lisbon. Because it is near the river, this means that the weather will not be so extreme like, like near Lisbon. There will be very little chance to have a gray sky or rain. That's not typical. What you can do for fun time? We have beaches, very good beaches, in several places near Lisbon. We have night markets, bars and discos for the people to have fun during the night. We have many music festivals near Lisbon and around Portugal. By many, I think there are more than 100 by all over the country. So there is on the end in Dread, where real, where you can find all the all the music festivals you can have in Lisbon, and this will be a slightly problem because there are, in July, there are some very important music festivals near Lisbon, and you have to try to choose a date so it don't conflict, so it doesn't skyrocket the accommodation. Local team. This is the people I've been talking about this DEPCONF. 
SPA is a, is a DD, me, myself, Beth Max, and Rui PB is, on, um, is a question mark because you have not yet confirmed. I have other people. I have, I have people from Spanish and Brazilian DDs have manifest interest in helping, and you have the, the support of the Brazilian delegation to help us. Obrigado. Thank you, Jose. You remember the order we had is Israel or Bratislava next? Bratislava. Ah, Israel. Okay. So please come. Please, uh, just to make sure, can uh, are people following IRC? Uh, I mean, I mean, because. We will need it at some point. Uh, so uh, please come for Israel. Okay. First off, I'd like to start by stating that I'm all for a second DevConf in Asia in 2020. <laughs> Okay, uh, so <clears throat> this is, uh, this is uh, Haifa. Uh, Haifa is on, on Mount uh, Carmel near the Mediterranean. Um, weather is, yeah, quite like, uh, quite like Lisbon, um, sunny. Um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, people are also uh, and uh, li likewise the pe people are also warm and friendly and uh, also uh, can with reasonably good uh, English and I think you could you could get by res uh, you could get by, by okay with uh, with just uh, with just English uh, there are plenty <coughs> plenty of things to do uh, in uh, in Haifa when, on your uh, on your off uh, DevConf uh, time of uh, no you can just look at the view uh it's a mountain so you can just have a look or even look from from the uh, cable car um there is a zoo uh there are quite a few interesting buildings uh uh or just uh or uh just enjoy the variety, the, the, the local foods. Uh, of course, there are plenty of, uh, of, inter of a variety of restaurants of all, of all type, and, and of course, the, the local ones, uh, where you can find uh, falafel, hummus, uh, labane, and whatever. Uh, Downtown Haifa, that's the area near the sea where Haifa originally, uh, where Haifa started from. Uh, by daytime, there are, well, go government offices, but also uh, uh, some cafes and, uh, and shops. Uh, by nighttime, this is the, uh, this is the area of, uh, uh, this uh, this this has uh, this is the focus of um, uh, this is the focus of uh, interesting uh, nightlife with uh, restaurants and, uh, and shops and a, a good place to be in. Um, uh, sorry, the. Uh, the venue is in, Haif in the Haifa University. Haifa University is 
on, the, on Mount Carmel itself, uh, which means that uh, it's a bit, uh, it's, it has a cooler weather with uh, be better winds, so it's not as humid as, uh, it's, it's not, uh, it's, it's a nicer place to be in at this time of the year. And um, we will be in the, uh, we will be, do I have a mouse here? We will be in, um, in, the, in the dorms of the university. Uh, the, main ven the main talks will be probably around here, so it's a walking distance. Um, the, main, uh, the, the main hall is, has 380 seats. Uh, there are plenty of smaller, smaller class of classrooms for about uh, 150 or so seats and, and smaller rooms, so there are plenty of rooms to, to use. Um, the dormit dormitories have uh, two people per room, but also bathroom per room, so. Uh, it's easier to, to, to be in. Uh, the university, uh, the university, the, the computer science department of the university have been very cooperative. Uh, They've help, uh, helped us a lot in uh, co connections with other parts of the university and also with, the, with, the city, with other parts uh, of the city, uh, with, uh, with the city hall and all, all of that. Um, so, um, there are currently two, two, two alternative locations. One of them is the Congress Center. Congress Center is located near the, uh, near the, uh, near the uh, Matam Industrial Park, uh, sorry, Matam High Tech Park, which uh, has uh, may, Got many uh, high-tech companies, uh, but it's also closer to 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 the uh, ra uh, to the railroad uh, company uh, to to uh, railway. Um, but uh, the thing is, it's not it's not in the university. It's not uh, it's not the, the the it's not the nicest nicer place on top of the mountain. Uh, but it's, it's more accessible in that location. Um, the other alternative is, the, is a new campus of the university in the downtown. Again, more accessible, but um, it's currently still under construction, so we can't really, um, at, at the moment, we can't really tell uh, when it will be ready. Um, okay, um, so. Well, we hope to see you in, uh, in Haifa in 2020. Thank you. Yes. Two additions. Two, uh, two additions? Yes. Uh, can you please go to the microphone to... One point is that all the companies you saw on the high-tech park are potential sponsors. Uh, especially when it's in the same city and they might send part of their employees and their students. Also Haifa hosted Wikimania 2011 and we already have a letter of intent uh, and goodwill from the city hall and they will be happy to have another f uh, open content or free software event in the city. Good, thank you. And uh, we will now have uh, Andrei Shadura. Uh, And now for something completely different. Hi, I'm Andrei, and I'm going to tell you about DEPCON in Bratislava. <laughs> I presented this idea very roughly at DEPCON in Montreal last year, so I'm going to shorten up the introduction a bit. So, why have DEPCON in Bratislava? Well, after having so many DEPCONs all over the globe, this may be our first European DEPCON. 
Bratislava is a small but nice city, well connected, part of the EU. Good food and beer, plenty of attractions around. So, uh, let's talk about progress. We've got two primary venue candidates, both located at the same university campus close to the city centre and really close to each other. The first one is the recently built information technology faculty called FEED, uh, modern with good equipment. Mm. The management are willing to host DevConf, but it's a bit expensive and uh, the cafeteria isn't big enough uh, to accommodate all participants. So if we go with this option, we may need to use uh, facilities of other faculties. The next candidate is uh, Matfis, um, a faculty of a different university, much older, but uh, because of this, um, we may get it for free. The management is friendly to Linux conferences and they've hosted some. Uh, but there are some accessibility issues uh, which I believe are solvable and we may need to check the technical equipment is suitable for our needs. The downside is that a renovation may start next year, but so far there's been no news. <laughs> I will be meeting the faculty management shortly to find out more. The campus belongs to two universities there are multiple faculties, so quite naturally there is student accommodation very close to the potential venues. Um, there are three options of accommodation. Accommodation is very cheap um, because during summer most of the students move out, so they're happy to offer rooms to external people. Here are some ideas for the day trip. Now, risks. If mud fees closes for renovation, we'll need to deal with feed, and the bill may be too high for the value we're getting, but hopefully not. The next issue, the team. A couple of people signed up for the core team, and there's uh, an organization which also may help us, but uh, the people who signed up haven't been active yet, so I need to make sure they engage more. I've tried organizing local Debian meetups, um, I hope I can get more people involved that way. Hopefully there will be mini DevCon in Bratislava, so we can test the venue and hopefully grow the team. That's all, thanks for watching and see you in Bratislava. Okay, thank you, Andre. Uh, so, uh, well, I would uh, like to ask to, to uh, one delegate from each team to come up uh, in case there are questions to be answered. And uh, for people having the questions, well, please, please ask them now. Again, they are, uh, the, the venues are in the first uh, stage of, uh, uh, of preparation. Well, some of them have already bid, uh, but uh, uh, we well we 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 can ex expect things to to develop uh, a lot uh, still so please yep go please go to the microphone and please sort this out yourselves yes hello <laughs> uh, a question in particular concerning India uh, I understand that it's in summer is rainy season in many parts of India. So, what is that the case, and what would that so what would be possible or good good dates for uh, for the, for the India venue? Uh, you asked about the summer, right? The weather. Okay, uh, it depends on the season and uh, the current. Uh, by the current dates, it would be the end of summer and the start of uh, monsoon or rainy season. So, depending on where in India we are, uh, the possible dates preferably should be by end of July and and within August. That would be the best time. Two comments and one question. Um, about India, I think you should decide on the location and not we, because I think the location depends a lot on the local team. 
interesting, you should make it up and not us. Um, about Bratislava and the same thing, I'm a bit disappointed that N represented it last year and still doesn't have a team now. I think that's not so good, we really need teams. And the questions about Portugal, Lisboa, you said July is the festival season, um, why, why then not choose another month? August is the most expensive month in Portugal. And July, I think in the last two weeks of July, you are not competing with other music festivals in Lisbon. We could also make it in June or September. It doesn't yes, but that will be class time. So maybe the rooms will be not available. I need to check. Um, I've, there was one DEPCONF, uh, I've been told afterwards that the organizers were concerned about my safety in the country. I would like to know if there is any concerns regular, uh, about safety of attendees, uh, both in general, like uh, wars going on, uh, with Israel or something, uh, or um, or for specifically for LGBT people. Um, I normally it's normally it's not an issue. Um, uh, as for LGBT or, or similar, I don't consider this a problem in Israel. Um, wars in Israel are are not that common as you hear in the news. <laughs> <laughs> just just look at the st statistics yourselves. Does the same question applies to me as well? To to all of to uh, yeah. It's the, a uh, we, do, we don't have uh, any security concerns for LGBTQ people. There are many Indian PO LGBTQ people around. Uh, so you don't you will not have any any issues regarding your safety your stay anywhere we will make sure of that uh, in portugal is considered one of the safest uh, places in uh, europe so i don't think there will be a major problem with that what i don't recommend is to leave uh, items unattended because there are reports of uh, some stolen goods from time to time so i think there should be no problem Uh, well, uh, it was requested for me to, to put the list of the cities, uh, it's the list of the countries. While you do the presentation, um, Haifa had uh, a pride parade for the last 12 years, so LGBT issues shouldn't be a problem. That is true for the rest of Israel as well. Mm -hmm. um, there might be a specific neighborhood in Jerusalem which might be a problem, but you know, we just don't do uh, day trip to that specific neighborhood, not a problem for the rest of the country. I, I, I can add a little bit to that from two different uh, points of view. Uh, I lived in Israel for over one year. Uh, at that time, well, first, well, uh, the first time I went there, it was a high time for security concerns, it, see, it seems. We were all very worried, but once you're there, well, things are just as quiet as uh, Anywhere, I mean, yeah, there are some attacks, you cannot uh, uh, foresee them, but uh, uh, people live, lead normal lives. Same applies, for example, to, well, uh, for uh, 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 narco-related uh, violence in Mexico. I've never seen anything, I've lived uh, all my life there. And so, I mean, I, 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 I strongly recommend everybody not to fall prey to what the news say about uh, I, well, the general security of a country, a country is huge, uh, so, yeah. Hi, uh, can you explain about to get visa to enter, to enter in your country and uh, about Israel and how it works to Muslim enter the city? It's okay, there is some difficult uh, okay, I put a list uh, 
in the in the bid of visa requirements. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but when I think of it, of countries with DDs, uh, or uh, it's mostly India and China that are required to 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 have a visa. Again, I, I have that off the top of my, of my mind. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. As for Muslims, um, Haifa has a, has a large uh, Muslim community. Uh, it should, shouldn't be an issue. Uh, the visa requirements for India are, are usually like uh, most of the European or American nations have, uh, uh, most of them have visa on arrival or uh, they have e-visa. You could request an e-visa and for, for around 60 days. Uh, some countries like, like uh, I think China, uh, China and a few African countries require visa. Uh, if you would just do a search on the web, uh, you would find a Wikipedia map of uh, visa requirements for visiting India. It is fairly easy, it won't be a problem. Um, I didn't check the visa status, but uh, Portugal belongs to the Schengen space. I expect it to be very similar to what it was in Heidelberg. This question is for all the teams, but particularly for the Indian and Israeli bids. Um, I didn't get a good idea of what the local teams were going to be from either of your bids. Do we know, how, how strong are the teams? Who are we expecting to have? Do we think that the team has the time to run a DebConf because it's a big job? I would like to add, it, it would be best to have at least some four people yes. dedicated to it. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, right now uh, we are uh, we are three. Uh, that's me, uh, Lior, and uh, Talat. Um, we um, we we get some we get some help uh, from the university. Um, and we should should be able to get uh, again one, once this is more uh, more substantial um, again uh, toward, toward, uh, towards DebConf we uh, we should be able to get to enlist other other people from the local Linux and uh, free software from the local Linux and free software community, which we 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 know very well. In the presentation, I showed a map of uh, Indian Linux uh, or, or the free software user groups. Uh, so a lot of user groups are quite big. And uh, you, you might have seen a large density in the southern part. Uh, also, the, uh, the user groups in the north are pretty big as well. Uh, the one in Delhi or the one in Pune or Mumbai are big as well. Uh, as Do any of them actually know about this bid, though? And are they... About? Do, are any of them actually aware of this bid and have, has yes, anyone committed uh, support? I, I, ha I have uh, mailed it to the Demon India mailing list. I have also asked a few DDs and DMs about uh, it in particular and most of them said to go for it. Uh, we have like five active DDs. Uh, we have around eight DDs. Some of them have retired. Uh, 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 we have like three DMs right now and a lot of Debian contributors. So uh, the team should not be an issue, hopefully. Uh, as I've started preparing the bid uh, while, while I was here, um, I don't have yet a strong local team. I've been contacting people, contributors from Deb, from Portugal, and um, and I've been talking with people around to get help from um, experienced people from other Deb, Deb confs to help me. And I think it could be a good opportunity to create a community of open source in Portugal because there are, um, there are users, but there is no, I don't know any Linux user group. I don't know, a strong, there is no strong community in Portugal. So this could be a good opportunity to create one. I just uh, want to add to this. Uh, I, I, uh, during the past few days, I have been harassing uh, uh, Raju and Jose uh, to, to, to make the bid. So 
I mean, they, 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 they have not yet assembled the teams. Having user groups is not enough. Having people that would be interested is not enough. You have to get the commitment, but you have time to get that. Just to add one thing, um, one of the first things I have done when I was trying, when I got the idea of doing a DevConf in Portugal, was to contact my, my, uh, my management teachers that are responsible for IT department and they are uh, in favor of it. So I count to have some help from the university to prepare the, for preparing the, the conference. More questions or are we done? Oh, please, please. It's probably too soon for this question for all of you, but um, a difficulty we've had with this DebConf has been transferring money into Taiwan has been quite slow and painful. How difficult would it be for Debian trusted organizations to move money into your countries? And are we going to need to set up local organizations if we're going to run a DebConf? You, you might not know the answer to this mm -hmm. yet, but it's something to start thinking about. As, as Portugal belongs to European Union, I don't expect to have problems transferring money from ins, inside Europe. Uh, we have organized uh, quite a number of uh, mini comps in India, and uh, we do have local uh, organizations that could be uh, uh, made as a trusted organization for DEPCONF. Uh, so that should not be an issue. I believe that it is not an issue from my initial, uh, from my initial uh, research into this, but uh, I am not yet. Uh, I'm not yet sure. Okay. I think this will be the last question as we're close to running out of time. I'll, Please. I led up. We have uh, a free software association in Israel. It's already got money from abroad and sent money from abroad. So there's bureaucracy, but it's completely possible. Okay, you know the people, uh, even, even if you don't know personally Andre, I can assure you he will be happy to answer to your questions. They are here, you can grab them. Uh, uh, well, if, if you're not opposed to being grabbed. Uh, and uh, well, uh, thank you very much for preparing this work and I hope to give you metric tons more work in the, in the near future. Thank you very much.